I first saw a photograph of Boyard anchored in a Norwegian field in an edition of Classic Yacht, which I was thumbing through uh, after a scow race in the Lewington River. And the page opened at a place in Norway where I had lived and worked and had our house in the background. And it just so happened that I was visiting Oslo the next morning to give a lecture in the university. So when I arrived uh, at the airport, I called the owner and he said, oh, I'll come down straight away. So I deferred the time of my lecture and went down to uh, the marina and uh, fell in love with the boat. And that was all there was to it. Immediately I'd done the lecture, I called my friends around the south coast to find a mooring in one of the harbours and the Bewley River Harbour Master found me a slot for a 56-footer. So one of the attractions of Johan Anker was not only his incredible ability as a yacht designer, but he was concerned with the beauty of lines, which in Voyard don't disappoint. Indeed, as a boat of such breathtaking and effortless beauty, she actually lifts your spirit when you look at her and sail on her. And it perhaps the whole idea of it defines the term classy yacht. So Anker's reputation is due not only to his incredible success in international rule designs, but his creation of the iconic Dragon Class one design. Of all the designers of his era, he was arguably the best helmsman. He watched the offerings of Messrs Fyth and Milne cross the finish line behind him. This feel for a beautiful yacht helped him create some of not only the fastest but the most beautiful design of any period. It's rare to find a boat both so original and in such fine condition. While she's only had a few owners, three before we brought it to England, the short Norwegian sailing season and long winters spent inside her own boat shed has certainly helped. Her previous owners in Norway have cruised many thousands of miles with just two crew. So cruising, whether in Norway or the Solent, is a delight with just two or three people because the rig design with a inner forestay and relatively small jibs and a large mainsail which can be reefed in stronger winds make for ease of passage and especially exciting racing. The Boyard has a keel weight and displacement balanced at approximately 50-50, providing an extremely effective sailing boat. Her pointing ability with the right sail plan is absolutely amazing and competes on equal terms against the older boats like Gerade from the 1935s and Stormy Weather, as well as the much newer ones like Sitaweo and Wooper. If you've got the sail balanced, it maintains an absolutely balanced position without touching the helm and anyone who touches it moves it and that slows it down it finds its own position without any drag and that's incredible 